What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 22 Road to Glory series. We have got a ton in this episode. The new season, season two has been released on FIFA 22. We've got our rivals rewards, our milestone rivals rewards, everything that we're going to run through here now if you guys are enjoying the content do please drop a like on the video the thumbs up really does help and subscribe to the channel this brand new second channel we just started so let's go ahead and let's jump right into this episode run through some of this content and then get into those rivals rewards so the new season is here obviously we get this we get this bonus objective to help you get some some season XP that they released as like a sorry for messing up foot champs or whatever. We get the week one bronze and then just all the basic stuff. The the seasonal stuff, it's basically the stuff you see absolutely every season. And then the seasonal players are just absolutely awful this time around. I'm probably going to go for this English center back because we do just have a lot of English in our team. So could have been a lot worse on that regard. Could link him with that Oxford if we find a way to do that. But overall, just very very bad in the in regard to these seasonal players the 15 and the level 30 is pretty bad too again we'll probably just go with the english guy grant i guess van ginkle and lincoln aren't the worst thing in the world i mean four star three star he's not great three star four star high high i'll probably go with this grant card three star three star i mean these are all just very very bad at the end of the day disappointing stuff from those seasonal players from ea and then in SBCs, not much. It's, it hasn't been content time when I'm recording this. We still got to get that Mares done, which is why I'm waiting to kind of open up these packs because obviously we're going to have some untradeable packs, I believe. And then I need to do this Rule Breakers SBC as well. So we got a lot of packs to come, basically. And hopefully we can finally hit a big tradable pool or at least give us something sick untradeable. Now, I did not get my seven wins for Rivals, so... A little disappointing in that regard for me, but honestly, I just I just was not feeling it. So I'm probably just going to go to the two untradeable 45k packs here, see if we can pack ourselves a Phil Foden, give ourselves a better chance at it. But our milestone rewards is where I believe we've actually got some good stuff. So we were division one. We got to the like third milestone thing. So we get two 100k packs and a jumbo premium gold players pack here. And then we get relegated to Div 3 because you get moved back two divisions if you're up where I was at. So a lot of work to do. Wish I would have gotten my seven wins to get that 100k pack in Div 1. But it was just at the point where I was like, man, I just don't really care that much about it. So we're just going to rock and roll. Let's go ahead. Let's get into these packs here. Again, probably going to get some fodder here to complete this Mares, which hopefully we can get done here in this episode or the next we get a board here to start it off and it's going to be Guerrero why could it not be informed Portuguese left back I would love to get my hands on that Jao Cancelo card but we get another 84 again here which we take the fodder oh my goodness 384s we take that pack every day of the week the things we absolutely love to see and hopefully we don't have to discard too much here if we don't have to discard too much, I'll probably leave Mares to complete in the next episode. So next 45k pack here, that one's a big dub, giving us four or 384 rated plays. We get another board here, which is nice. Center back. Oh my gosh, we get the same guy in back to back packs there. The same exact guy in back to back packs. We get PK. He was in the last one. So let's see what we got here. Obviously, he's untradeable. He's untradeable and he's tradable. So I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go submit PK into the Mares SBC and then I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, we are back. I've gone ahead and completed another squad for the Mares SBC here. I think there's like two tradable players in here that I already had in my club that I needed to use. Actually, I think it's just one. I think it's just Gaia here to help us get that chem up as a Spanish left back there. So relatively easy SPC here. Wasn't too bad. Again, everything here untradeable. I did have to use an 86 Insigne, but to help get that uh, that 84 rating, but could have been a lot worse. Let me see, Diago Silva? No, it doesn't work. So we've basically done it perfectly here. 84 rated, team of the week players untradeable with that 70 chemistry. So we get another pack here and we go ahead and get rid 
of that PK there. So we got one squad left now for Mares, which is fantastic. And then we get ourselves another pack here, which is tradable as well. So EA, you've got that chance now to give us that tradable pool we've been waiting for. Let us see it, please. All right, come on here. This is the tradable pack, 80 plus overall player guaranteed. Okay, all, uh, no boards, no boards. All right, all right. Well, moving on swiftly send those guys to the transfer list transfer list already filling up my goodness here we go we got two 100k packs and the jumbo premium gold players pack 83 plus overall guaranteed rule breakers phil foden guaranteed nope i tried to manifest it portuguese strikers it's gonna be andre silva here 84 rated do i have him already i had him at some point i know that i know i had him at some point Okay, only eight dupes here. Nothing high rated either, so I'm not really fussed about like discarding this kind of stuff. All right, send him up. We know Matt Weedy's untradeable. We just packed him. All right, there we go. Getting rid of a lot of this. Okay, okay, a lot of tradable. A lot of tradable. No complaints here. We're just going to discard the rest of this because I'm not going to go do a two-player upgrade pack with three random golds. All right, this is where we need to come through EA. A rule breakers Phil Foden would change our lives here. It would change our lives. It would save us 400k. Now is the time to bless us. It's not even a walkout, man. It's N Hazard. Oh, it's Mr. Tubby. It's Mr. Tubby Hazard. Oh my goodness, that's painful. That's so painful. Who else is in here? Oh, it's a stinker. And there's a million duplicates. Uh, actually a million there's actually a a million duplicates in this pack oh my gosh so angelino untradeable if we can get rid of a lot of these then i won't i honestly wouldn't be upset about discarding this at this point i know these are all discard price but we can go make a two-player pack here we can go make a two-player pack with these there's so many i feel like we almost have to to test our luck dear lord look at all these duplicates this just tells you how stacked our club is all right, if he's tradable, all right. Honestly, get out of here. Get out of here. We're just opening this pack. Phil Foden, talk to me nice. Come on. Please, 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 please. It is a walkout. Spanish center mid. Oh, my Lord. Oh, man. Our pack luck just is not there, boys. It's not there. Give us a couple, maybe a couple 85s in here too. That would be nice. Come on. Help us with Mares. We get Werner in there, which I guess is cool. Okay, he goes for nothing. And we get Parejo 86 to help us with Mares. And we get a, a, a actually another billion duplicates. 83. Nope. 83. We know he's untradeable. I mean, this is just, this is an absolute nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare here. This hurts, boys. This hurts. You see, like, what did I play rivals for all, all season? For Parejo? Like, actually, for Parejo? Oh, man. Oh, man. I want to see if I can put Arthur and Andre Silva into that last Mares section, but, I mean, that is just, that's heartbreaking. It's 86 rated. I mean, there's just no way we can put those guys in here, right? There's just no way. Like, the only guys that are really going to go in here, I really don't have much fodder in my club at all. I'm probably just going to have to go purchase it. Hazard's going to go in. Parejo's obviously going to go in. And then after that, our club is dry. I mean, we have all these red picks and stuff, but I'm not going to put those in. I'm not going to put any of those in. Then we have a bunch of 84s, basically. So we'll have to go buy some sort of high rated card to help us out here but we actually have a decent start to this sbc if we take a look how close we can get just off the back of this it's not it could be a lot worse it could be a lot worse we'll leave it at that we will leave it at that so let's go ahead pop these around pop these around these 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 and then like Werner and goal see we're 85 rated just like that we're 85 rated, so I wonder, like, how much it would actually take to get us a little bit, 
higher to that 86. Like an 87 for an 84 doesn't do it. Wow. Um, 87 for 83 doesn't do it. Okay, so we're going to need a, a decent amount higher rated. Two 87s for 84s still doesn't do it. So we're a ways off for that 86 rating, it looks like. So I'll have to go buy a couple players here, which isn't the end of the world. I mean, even if I just go buy one, like a Ter Stegen or something for 50k, we'll see if we can get some packs from anywhere else while we're kind of playing around here. But we're going to finish that Mares in the next episode here. And I'm probably going to go finish all of these packs as well for the next episode and try to get a little bit more fodder towards that Mares there. So fairly disappointing stuff there from EA in our packs. We'll get a couple more packs here and things like that. But I guess that's going to be it for this episode, boys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next episode.